How much is it? 7,200. Babe, uh, oh. she said it's 7,200. Uh, okay. There we go. There you go. You can keep the change. Thank you, sir. Eh? Keep what change? Will you give me the 800 naira balance? No. Keep the change. And I said no. She's not keeping the change. Anita, it is my money. I asked the cashier to keep the change. And I maintain that she's not keeping the change. Hand me the balance now. God. I said give me the balance. <gasps> oh, so, so, so. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's my fault. I wasn't really looking at the door. No, actually, it's my fault because I rather came out too fast. For Hope I didn't hurt you. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? Yes. You're sure? Yes, I'm okay. Uh, I hey, just... baby. I got the change. <sighs> sorry, so sorry. Babe, hold on. Nita, I gave an instruction. I asked the cashier to keep the change. So why did you insist on collecting it? Do you have to give her money? If you do not know what to do with money, I have a whole lot to do with money. Stop sounding like... Why will you sound like I gave her a fortune? Mm, that's how it starts. I don't understand. That's, what, that's how what starts. Baby, I love you. I swear. I really do. you to be my boyfriend please I don't know why I can't seem to get you out of my mind look I want us to be together let's make this work oh please dude come on what's there if I'm the one asking you out besides I like you and I'm damn sure that you like me too so what's there I just... Oh! Uh, hold on, let me call you back. I'm sure you must be out of your mind. What? Who are you talking to on the phone? Oh, please. Judith, I'm talking to you. Talk to me and don't give me that silly attitude. Oh, so it have gotten to the point of you asking a guy out. Judith! What is it now? Leave me alone. Just, 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 just let me be, please. Judith, who are you toasting on the phone? I said, who are you toasting on the phone? Who I was on the call with is none of your business. You are my brother and not my father. Don't make me slap the heaven out of you. Mikael, you gonna slap me? <laughs> what? Like you really gonna slap me? you're traveling to London by next week. Yes, my dear. I'm going to London. You know, Philip is doing a great job with my hospital in Abuja, so let me just go back. Uh, that's what Dr. Lumide told me when he visited. Yes, so I am so impressed with what he is doing. In fact, it gives me joy that my son took after my profession. Ah, uh -huh. what's that? So, because my kids didn't, you know, take after my profession, I should go suck for life. Is that it? No, 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 no. I don't mean it that way. After all, Michael is doing well in his chosen endeavor. Well... And talking about our children, there's something I'm thinking. Which is? 
You know, we have known each other for over 30 years. Exactly. Friendship born out of core values that I can't trade for anything. I know, you did die for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am thinking, why don't we deep in the tie, make it a family tie? Get Philip, my son, to marry Judith, your daughter. I've actually discussed with Philip and he's in for it. So I just say, why don't we do that? Come on. <laughs> That's an A-team. You know, my daughter cannot marry a son. Why? I'm from Anambra State. So there is no way my child, any of my children, in fact, I told my children, none of them will marry anyone that is not from Anambra State. Because you're from Anambra State? Of course, and that's what's best for them. I don't want to believe this. Dr. Ngozi, so with your education and exposure, you still have this me me mentality of... I beg your pardon? Now hold it. You can as well disagree with what I have said, but not you sitting here to insult me. I won't take it. Bro, I tell you, it is my money. So I decide what I want to do with it. See, I already instructed that the cashier keep the change. But she insisted on collecting the advance from her. See, all effort, see, everything I tried to let her leave the change, but she said no. And I got angry and I left there in anger. So how much is this money in question? 800 naira. 800 naira? Yes, 800 naira. <laughs> see, it's funny. Yeah, but did you ogle at the cashier or stare at her in any suggestive manner? Oh, come on. See, I swear to my maker, I don't even, see, I can't even remember how she looks like. Which means you weren't paying attention to her? Hell no! No! So what was the force for about the money? I, that is what I'm saying. I mean, see, always want to get under my skin every and every given time. And that should freak, see, gets me pissed, angry. <laughs> Sorry, bro, you need, you need to calm down. It's not that, it's not that serious. Go ahead, pick your call, pick your call. And I, it's, it's not a serious one, it's... <laughs> oh, I'm not picking my call. Please pick this call. Pick call. Oh. Pick this call now. I hope that water you're bringing is not too cold. Slightly. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sweetheart. Where is your brother? Why is he not back yet? Well, he came here by five and left almost immediately. I don't know where he went to. I see. I'm very tired. I had a long day. Did you do any surgery today? Uh, well, I didn't do surgery today. Just that I, I've noticed. Anytime a tenusa is off duty, I do more of talking and world round. So after world round, man, I get tired. <laughs> Who is a tenusa? Etanessa is just a girl I employed two months ago. Oh. A wonderful nurse. Believe me. Very, very pretty. Intelligent. Wow. <laughs> Mom. Yes. This is the first time I hear you commend a lady who is not from Anambra State, let alone in Onibu. I'm surprised. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> Ah, my mother would say that a number of people would do me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I've said to myself that my children must marry from a number of states. Big man, welcome. Welcome, bro. 
Mom, I think it's hard time you started talking to your daughter. Mom, can you believe? Judith have started chasing after guys. You are lying against me. And it will not do you any good. Hey, lying. Just shut up your mouth. Didn't I catch you toasting a guy over the phone? Begging him to be your boyfriend. Me? You're lying against him and you know it. Judith! Why? Why would you do a thing like that? Now where did you get it from? Mom, and you believe him? Yes, I know. I know you're going to believe him. Why wouldn't you? You love him. And that's why you're believing him. You don't trust me. You don't believe me. Hey, I don't. don't break my Leave me. Yeah. Ah, she's stylishly running away. Why don't you come back and defend yourself now? Oh, you see? Oh. Are you sure she's still <clears throat> Never mind. What is wrong with him? This guy is very wicked. He is very wicked. What is all this? Is he even better off? What is his business if I ask a guy out? What is his damn business? After I'm not the first person doing this and I'm not going to be the last person. He should just leave the... Just, just leave me alone. Just leave the... Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm good. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to just check you. Okay. Okay, that's all. If you need anything, just let us know. All right, take care. Okay. All right. My goodness, I'm late. Judith, I would like you to clear the table. Okay, Mom. Mom? Yes. Uh, Mom, I'm yet to receive my allowance for this month. Oh, uh, that's the reason you sat here. Hmm? Okay, you will get it today. Is that okay? 
Thank you, Mom. Hey. Now, who was the guy your brother said you asked out yesterday? Mom, and you believed him? Why not? Did you or did you not? I did not, Mom. And Mom, please just, I want Mikkel to leave me alone. He's not the only one that knows how to fabricate stories. Now, what makes you feel that your brother fabricated this one? That's what you should ask him. I'll see you in the evening. Okay, Mom. Bye. Bye. Doctor. Etinosa. The patient in Ward 3 is done taking the trip. I see. So how is he? Better than before. He said the migraine has stopped and he, he no longer feels dizzy. Nice. Now there's an elderly patient in Ward 2. I would like you to help me monitor his vital signs often. Well, I just did now. Wow, that's thoughtful of you. So, what's the result? His BP read 130 over 80. Which is not bad. In that case, I might have to discharge him this weekend. Okay. Let me go to the children's ward and check on the patients there. All right then. Uh, are you okay? I'm good. I don't know why my office is still I don't know if this AC is faulty. Come. Help me. This is so beautiful. Thank you very much. It's a diamond necklace my husband got for me on my birthday before he died. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I cherish it so much. Mm. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Do you know that some guys are undisputably foolish? Those are really harsh words. I'm specifically talking about my, my sister's boyfriend. What did he do? So my sister's birthday is in a week's time and this guy says he's not going to throw her a birthday party. I mean, no party, no drinks, no nothing. Why? There you go. Thank you. His reason doesn't even add up. But you know what? I told my sister that you will be throwing her a birthday party. Yes. I mean, to put her useless boyfriend to shame. And I also rub it on his face that it is my boyfriend that threw her girlfriend a birthday party. And people will so laugh at him because, I mean, he's not even man enough to throw a birthday party for his girlfriend. Wait, wait a minute. You, you, you want me to throw your kid sister a birthday party because her boyfriend can't afford it? Exactly. I mean, why is he dating her if he can't give her as little as a decent birthday celebration? I'm, I'm sorry, I'll do no such thing. And besides, I don't, I don't have money to spend on frivolities. <laughs> frivolities? Your sister can do without a birthday. And besides, her boyfriend is under no compulsion to throw her a birthday party. Nickel, so when you spend money on outsiders, you don't consider it as a waste of money. Babe, it is my money. My money. You, you don't tell me how to spend my money. Promise. Pro promise. It's too bad. Is anybody in this? Can you see What? You don't want me calling you sweetheart? Fine, so what should I call you instead? Don't call me anything other than my name, Victor. Okay? I've told you this will not work. Your brother is my best friend. And so what? And so what? How do you want Mikael to feel if he finds out I'm sleeping with his sister? 
Come on, Victor. It's not about the sex. Look, it's about how I feel for you. And you told me you have feelings for me too, right? So it's not about the sex. Have you heard about any romantic relationship that didn't involve sex? Listen, that's a tall order for me, okay? I don't want Mikhail to start thinking I took advantage of our friendship to be sleeping with his sister. Besides, oh. if he finds out, you think whether we are in love or not will matter. But it's about what I share. Look, look, I, I'm not, I don't put me in that kind of situation. Sleep with my friend's younger sister. It is my money, and I decide whatever I want to do with it. You know what? Keep your damn money to yourself. With or without your dirty money, my sister will get her birthday party. Nonsense. Poverty seeking mentality everywhere. You, you better watch your Get out of my way, you hear you. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, What's that about? I'm sorry. She's just trying to force something down my throat that I wasn't taking and she's just pissed and she left. I'm so sorry. Oh. How are you doing now? What's wrong? Good, man. Hey, man, what's... Ah, oh, my God! Huh? What happened? Your brother is so annoying. Very annoying. Is that why you almost knocked me down? Oh, wow, really? Are you serious? I'm just walking away. What impudence? Come on, get this door. Wow. Get this gift. Be fast. Nonsense. Useless. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nasi. Good afternoon, sir. Please, I want to see Nasi Kichino, sir. She's busy. Okay, that means I have to wait for her. I thought you came for an injection. Why do you want to wait for her? Yes, but she's the one to inject me. You want her to inject you? Yes. Why? Because I want her to inject me. But she's very busy now. Okay, no problem, I'll wait for her. I'm not in the hurry. Injection. <laughs> there are only no sentinels that we inject. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Uh, here. Take this to the dispensary. There's a nurse that will administer the injections to you. You'll be fine. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. But doctor, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This your nurse, uh, nurse Etinusa, is she married? No. So, why do you ask? She's such a nice person. Ah. I really like her. Anytime I come to the hospital and she's the one attending to me, mm. I'm always happy. I know. <laughs> a lot of people are saying the same thing, mm -hmm. you know, about Nasi Tinusa. She's a wonderful person. People are saying good things about her. In that case, I'll have to call my son in Canada to come and marry her before another man does. Ah. Uh, madam, is that where you're going? That girl is a wife material. I really need to convince my son to marry her. You're from Anamba? Yes. She's a Bini girl. Exactly. I don't understand. How does that intertribal thing work for you people? Because it doesn't work for me. I don't have any problem with intertribal marriage. As long as the person involved is a nice person. I don't have a problem with that. Well, I got married to an Anambra man. Oh. I'm from Anambra State. All my siblings got married to the same state, Anambra State. And my children will also get married to Anambra people. So far, our marriages have been awesome. Well, you see, I've seen uh, inter-tribal marriages that are awesome as well. I don't have any problem with that. Well, it's your choice. <laughs> All right then, go let him attend to you. 
Thank you'll you be fine. so much. Thank you, doctor. Let me go for my medication. Of course, you'll be fine. Thank you so much. Just be She's still not picking the call. She's still not picking the call. Who? Anita? Who? Of course. Anita? Of course. Maybe she's not close Maybe to her phone or she's busy. Not close to her phone Anita. or she's busy. Anita will always Anita. pick my call. Anita will always I mean, if she can't pick my call. I mean, if she can't pick my call, she will return it as soon as she gets the opportunity. But now she's not even read my messages. She's not even read my messages. Neither has she replied any of them. I think I think something is wrong think, somewhere. I think something is wrong somewhere. You think something is wrong? Yes. You think something is wrong? What do yes. you think is wrong? What do you I, think is wrong? I don't know, but I, I don't know, but I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll find out tomorrow. I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Good and your face is like this. And it was a problem. I mean, I've been trying to call you for some days now. You're not picking my calls. Neither are you replying to my messages. Honestly, Mikhail, I need you to give me a break. B break? Why? That's what I want. Just stay away from me, me for now. Wait, what, what did I do? What is it? Mikael, please, I need you to stop calling me. Yes, I need a break. Oh. I just need to sort out some issues in my life. Please excuse me. Anita, please, I can do one more day without you. Please. When you don't stand it, you use the door. Probably it's because of the arguments you both had the other day. Yeah, I thought so too. Then I guess you should just give her some time to simmer down since she's still upset. She is asking for a break, for a plausible reason. I mean, that is understandable. But going on a break because I refuse to throw her kid sister a birthday party? Mm. That's why she needs a break? I will gladly walk. <laughs> Bro, you need to chill. I mean, this is the same lady you're planning on proposing to in the next two weeks. Are you saying that may never happen? Victor, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. So they say, don't I? Hmm. See, don't get me wrong. I like her. But I won't take rubbish from anyone because of love. Hell no. You have a point, I must say. But could it be that she's seen someone else already? Perhaps that's the reason why she's trying to pack up a break up. You, you, you think so? No, no. I'm just trying to figure out exactly why she's doing what she's doing. But then again, you should find that out yourself. You know, she owes you that information at least. You'll be all right, bro. Oh, hello, Etienne, sir. Ah. You're back. Yes, doctor. Just keep it in my office. Okay. Who's all this? Who's all this? Miss Chinelo, what is it? Man, that man in room five have defecated on himself, and none of his kids are there to clean him. I thought I saw one of them a while ago. None of them is there anymore. The whole place is so messed up and smelling badly. Okay, let me quickly clean him up and change the bed sheet. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, Mika. Are you okay? 
Yes, ma'am. All right. Let me tell you people what happened today at the hospital. What happened, ma'am? <laughs> Mikel, are you listening? Yes, ma'am. Etinusa was given... Ma please. Please. Anytime you come back from work, Etinusa this, Etinusa that. Every time Etinusa, Etinusa, Etinusa. I mean, can't we just hear of another name in this house? Jeez. What's wrong with him? Mom, I don't know. He has been sucking since he came back this evening. Son, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. If you are, then why did you flare up when I mentioned it in this name? Nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Mom, it's nothing. Please. I'd like to go to bed. My eyes are here. Go to bed now. I just came down to watch a movie with you. Hello? Um, um, Anita, I... <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm calling to apologize about... for what happened. I mean, I shouldn't have hit you. It's, it's, it was a wrong... It was a wrong thing for me to do, so... Um, I'm just going to say I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, I can't. I'm, I'm with someone now. Can we talk about this when we see, please? No, um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll call you. All right. Yeah, thank you. Hello, babe. Um, I I just called Anita now. What do you mean, consider it at any point? See, for me, it's too. Victor, you won't you won't believe I've forgotten what I came here to buy. You are not serious. So you brought me out here and you don't even know what you want to buy. No, I have it in mind, but then it just kept me. I know I came out to buy two things, but... Is it shoes? No. Wine? No. Two things. You know what? Let's just leave and when you remember, we'll come back. No. Freshness? 
Yes, push down inside to say, how? How did you know what I came to buy you? I didn't know. It's just guesswork, and I'm happy I got it. <laughs> um, maybe you should open a prophetic ministry. I mean, oh. look at you, got it right on point. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, I'm Mikael. I'm Etinosa. Etinosa. That's a beautiful name. This is my friend Victor. But you don't need to say hi to you, but don't worry. Um, whatever you want to buy, I mean, pick everything. Anything you want to, I will pay. I will fill the bill. Are you, for real? 100%, I got you. Anything, anything. I'll meet you at the counter. <laughs> wow, Just thank go. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi, go ahead. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's 6,960. There you go. So, uh, Tino, sir, I don't know, deep down, I wouldn't want to be a stranger to you anymore. Thanks, if you don't mind, we exchange contact. It's no problem. It's no problem? Yeah. So, here you go. Yeah. Etinosa. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for this. I am really grateful. No, nah, it's nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, once oh. again. Nah, it's nothing. <laughs> so you told me, um, what's your way? Are you going? Unity Road. Ah, we're going the opposite direction. But don't worry, I'll call you. It's all right, I'll be waiting. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Hmm? <clears throat> I, I well, can see you like her. That was why you forgot to open, came here for Come on now, is she not beautiful? Look at her now. I know she's oh. beautiful, but it's beautiful when you're looking for a woman. You just met this girl. No, didn't you sense that that aura of peace oh, around her? Yeah. Oh. Guy, there's something about this girl, and I'll find out what it is. Something about her. Something about her. Mm. Yeah, I'm a tech guy. Mm. I work for two big companies as the head of IT. Mm. That's awesome. Tech. <laughs> you are in a good place. Tech guys on the world now. <laughs> Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Jack Dorsey, name them. <laughs> I'm impressed you're, you're, you're up to date, you're current. Thank okay. you. So you tell me, what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work in a private hospital, hmm. Livingstone Hospital. What? You know the hospital, right? It's a very popular hospital in the city. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's my mother's hospital. What? Yes! It's my mother's hospital. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You were the tenants of my mother? Oh, no. I... What, what is happening here? Like, uh, wait. Dr. Ngozi Ezenago. Your mother? Yes! My name is Mikel Ezenago. My father, Dr. Bart Ezenago, owned the hospital before his sad demise <sighs> to an auto crash. And my mother took over. Wait, God. Your mother, she's a very nice woman. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that again. I mean, she, she likes you a lot. Every time she comes back from work, every day she goes, Oh, it's no sell this, it's no sell that. I mean, we can't oh, stop hearing the name. It's no at some point we're going to be your time. But I didn't know she was talking about. This angel sitting in front of me. I. You know what? 
to know, sir. Um, <laughs> I don't know this, if this is the right time, but I like you a lot. I like you. I, I don't want I don't want us to do this stranger thing anymore. I I want to have a, a relationship with you. I, I like you. Mm. Well, I think I like you too. You? Is that a yes? Is that a yes? Yeah. Oh, good. What are you doing? I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. Mom? Yes, dear. I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Go on. If you have the chance of getting married again, would you? To remarry? Yep. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Well, it depends on a couple of things. Couple of things like what? You know, like, um, oh, hold on. Now, why are you asking me all those questions? Well, nothing. I just want to know if you're giving up on love. Hello? Hey, bro, what's up? Guy, guess what? What? Tell me. I am officially in a relationship now. Are you for real? With who? It's not so, of course. The lady we met at the mall the other night now. Come on, bro. How come? I, I thought you both just met. Guy, the most interesting part is she works at Livingstone Hospital. She's there to know something my mom always spoke about whenever she comes to the house. Okay. I see. Um, how about Anita? Guy, what did you bring that one now? Eh? Where's her place now? Because you need to talk with her, you need to bring. Now, I'll take a look at you. To talk about how you will bring, you know, back to this house a classy young man from a number of states to marry you. Oh. And you're there asking me, you know, to to, to, to be married who didn't love that. Come on. No. What is it? Okay, fine. The reason why I asked was this afternoon mm -hmm. I saw online a 60 years old widow mm -hmm. who remarried. Okay. Uh, well, I'm happy for her that she found love. Mm -hmm. But I'm not up to 60. Okay, fine. Let's wait till I get up to 60. Who knows? Am I fine? <laughs> no, mommy. You're not going to get up to 60. <laughs> what do you mean? You want me to die? <laughs> to 60. Hi, baby. Hey. Hi. Hey, come here. Oh, he's back. Mommy's hey. husband. Mm. Mm. So hey, bro. Welcome. Mm. Hey, bro. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Actually, nothing. I mean, I just happen to be in a very good mood this evening, so that's it. Nothing more. Ah. What? Oh. Did I say anything? Good job. Well, you have right. to tell us the secret. Yeah, come in. Hey, Miko. Hey. Your date is here. Huh? My, my date? Oh, yes. I overheard you telling Victor that you have a date. So she's downstairs waiting for you. Hurry up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just 
Cut the crap. What? What are you doing here? Babe, I'm here to see you. See me for what? <laughs> Answer me. I mean, for what? Babe, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about what happened. That's what I'm here to explain. Can you just save your freaking energy. I don't need any apologies, okay? You see, you and I, you're done. All things are passed away. I've moved on. What do you mean by all things are passed away? You want to know what all things are? Hmm? Judith? Yeah? If tonight's sequence is too much for her to be in this house. Mikael! I know you're upset. I'm so sorry. Please hear me out. I'm sorry, Mikael. Please hold on. Don't do this to me. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Mikael, hold on. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Oh God, Mikael. What did you do to him? Is your brother high on drugs? He looks like someone that smoked marijuana. When next you see him, ask him that. Excuse me.
taking my calls. Why doesn't he want me in his life anymore? He can't he can move on just like that. No. Let me let me try to call him again. Where's mom? Hi. Where's mom? Mom, I'm home. Oh, what is this? It's a new sir. Come. <laughs> Look at you. Now, sir, what is this? What? Where did you find my Etinusa? You are indeed a wizard. Mom, golden fishes have no place to hide. Ah. And mom, I, I brought her to have dinner with us. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you, sweetheart. Mom? You've done well. Yes, darling. Is this the same Etinusa you always tell us about? That's my Etinusa. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Of course. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You she's welcome. more beautiful. Yeah, she's more beautiful than you. <laughs> well, <you're beautiful. laughs> <Good boy. laughs> nice. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Etinusa? I hope you're enjoying the food. Yes, it tastes great. <laughs> mm. She prepared it, my daughter. She's a wonderful cook. Yeah, yeah. The best cook in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing she knows. Aside from that, any other thing? Zero. Mm. Hey, Carol. Just let her be. Mom? Uh huh. Yeah, that reminds me. How did you meet Etinusa? Mm, actually, she's my she's my girlfriend. What? She I mean no we've been dating for a while now. And she actually took all the boxes as you said and I can't wait to not marry her. Is this some sort of engagement dinner? Are you alright? Engagement what? Now what is this? I'm asking you. How 
How in the world did you think that this would be possible? Mom beats the team. Oh, listen to me. It will never work as long as I live. Don't, don't, don't do this. Now get it into your head. Mom, don't do this. Mom? What is going on? She just... I said, babe, I just need you to calm down, okay? Calm down. I promise to talk to her. Everything will be okay. I have never seen her this angry. Babe, listen, I promise you, I will fix this. I mean, she, she likes you. Huh? Babe, see, see, don't let it bother you. Of course, it's already bothering me. Look how angry she was at hearing about us. Babe, listen, I, I promise I'll fix this. Right, but she likes you. Then why is she mad that we're together? Why? Don't worry. I promise I'll talk to her. I should come through, okay? I'm sorry. Look at me now. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over her. Are you still dropping me off? Um, um, sure, sure. Um, why not? But I can I can drop you looking like this. Smile for me now. Hmm? Have you got nuts? Now, what is the meaning of this? Mom, what's wrong with Etinosa? Everything! Everything is wrong with her! Etinosa is from a doorstep. I don't like her. Mom, her state of origin is inconsequential. Really? What matters is I, I love her. You would not love her. Never will you love her. Now, what about Anita? Why did you dump Anita? Mom, I never dumped Anita. I mean, it just didn't work out between us. Really? Now, you listen to me, young man. Never will you marry this adult lady. Mom, what is wrong with a Bini lady? What are you talking about? Have I not told your people I do not want you to get married to any other state apart from Anambra? Mom. Get it into your head! I would do no such thing. You will! Believe me, you will! Mom, I won't. You are pushing me to the wall, son. I do not want to bring out the beast in me. Behave yourself. What is all this? Never. Never will I allow my son marry that stupid Binny girl. I would never. None of my children will marry outside an Amber estate. It won't happen. <laughs> it's a new sir. You are indeed a slimy sneak bastard. But I'm going to teach you a lesson tomorrow. Hello, Anita. Hello, Ma. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Good evening. Are you having any problem with my son? Yes, Ma. What happened? I woke up one morning to realize that Mika doesn't communicate with me anymore. I tried reaching out to him to find out why. But he said I should move on, that he has done the same. And you didn't bother to tell me? I was still going to tell you, Ma. Come to my house first and tomorrow morning. Okay, Ma. Thank you. Bye.
Lube. Hi there. You're still awake. Yeah. Sleep is very far away from me tonight. I haven't even freshened up. Why is that? <sighs> Nothing. Did your mother say anything further about me? Um oh no, 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 she she didn't. Mikael, I'm afraid because My mom will not bite you now. See, my mom is a typical African mother. She's trying to look out for her son. She's pretty much just putting us through a test. A test? I, I can tell you, my mom just wants to be convinced that we're both into each other. That way she can give us our blessings. Okay, you don't need to worry. And I'm convinced that she loves you. My mom loves you a lot. Okay? You can take that to the bank. If you want me to sing you a love song, mind you, my voice is horrible. night that it didn't work out between you and Anitha. Lo and behold, Anitha is here and she told me otherwise. That both of you were fine till you stopped giving her attention. Now may I know why? Um, there is no need for this meeting. I've moved on. Quiet! Now you moved on to where? If I may ask. Um, she asked for a break, and I gladly gave it to her. And as fate would have it, I, I met someone that I, I fell in love with and, 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 and I moved on. It was just a break. I didn't mean we should end the relationship. Then why did you ask for the break? Well, I asked for a break because I just needed some time to resolve some issues in my life. Ooh. Mom, she asked for a break because I refused to Found a frivolous birthday party for our kid sister. That's not true. Who told you that? You look at my face and lie. See, you can't fool me. You can deny it for all I care, but you can't fool me. Enough! I brought Anita here to sort things out between both of you. Um, there is absolutely nothing to resolve. I've met someone. I'm with someone now. Anita and I, we are over. She move on, please. Now you better listen to me. We are going to fix this, and that's final. Mom, this is an absolute waste of time. I'm sorry to disrespect you, but I have to take my leave because I have more important things to do. We should go. And what are you doing, son? Mom, I'm going. I said get back. No, no, no. You people want to force me to be with somebody I don't want to. Don't worry. The only person I want to be is Etunosa, and there's nothing anybody can do about that. My son walking out on me as if I don't matter to him. That means the girl in question is already influencing him negatively. What stupid girl is that? Look at my son disrespecting me. All because of that useless Bini girl. Oh my god. What's my love doing with a Bini girl? Hey, sweetheart. I'm alright. Girl, I slept well. Just that something was missing. I wish I had you all by myself. I wish I slept in your arm all through the night. Yes, baby.
Good Please, morning, everyone. This Good morning. File is very important. Once it's Dr. Inusa. Comes. Good morning, Doc. You were fired. Your services are no longer needed here. But Doc, hey, meet me in my office in the next 10 minutes for your termination letter. Listen to me attentively, Chinelu. I want you to make sure that a Tenusa leaves this premises with only happy long ends. Are you listening to me? Okay. If you like, don't do it. What I would do to you, you wouldn't like it. This intense hatred just because I am dating her son? <sighs> what exactly am I missing? He sounded worried on the phone. I just lost my job. What? That's impossible. No, no, no. She can't do this. Your mother fired me. Why? This is not possible. I guess it's because of us. This is like a dream to me. No, this is nonsense. You didn't do anything. Why would she fire you? Babe, please. Don't make this any worse than it is already. No, no, no. This doesn't make sense. This cannot stand. At least not at the hospital, okay? Wait for her to get home first. Babe, this is nonsense. I know. Firing you for, for no reason. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Let's... We can, we can fix it. Just sit down, okay? Let's, let's talk. Calm down. Please, sit. Sit. Oh, Why fire her? Doesn't even make sense. Oh. Look, bro, I... I think I agree with you on this one. Your mother went rather too far. Yes, that's rather callous. I mean, it was it was thoughtless. Bro, you need to chill before you say something you're not supposed to say. What am I not supposed to say? Call a spade a spade. What she did was wrong. See, see if she doesn't overturn that decision, there will be no peace in that house. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> look, I suggest you just handle this differently, okay? Before things get any worse than it is already. Victor, I don't care. I don't care. Anita, don't you have anything meaningful to do with your time? What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to find out why my boyfriend isn't taking my calls anymore. Anita, take your madness out of this place. You and I, it's over. I'm seeing someone else. 
Mikael, do not insult me. That I am throwing myself at you doesn't give you the license to insult me. Well, if you don't want to get insulted, stay away from me. I mean, give yourself some dignity. Listen, Mikael, you cannot use me and dump me. Not after everything I've done for you. <laughs> look at the house. Does this house look like a broken person's house? Hmm? Is it this your cheap emotional blackmail? It's not working. I'm used to it. Mikkel, I gave you my all. You can walk away from me now that I need you the most. It's not going to happen. No! <laughs> Anita, by the time you're done wasting your time, there's a reason why the store is made. Do it. Thank Mom. you, baby. How are you? Fine. How are you? Why did you do it? Do what exactly? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. And what are you talking about? Why did you suck Etienne Osa from her job? Will you shut up? How dare you speak to me in such manner? Mom, you will reverse that decision with immediate effect. That is silly! I'm your mother. Who gave you the right to speak to me in such manner? The next time you will try it, I will teach you a lesson you will not forget in a hurry. Now what is this? Mom! Are you better quiet? Mom, I have never disrespected you. And you are doing it now. And I won't start today. But you see that decision? You will reverse it. There will be no peace in this house! Really? No peace! Now that will be over my dead body! We shall Will see! I allow you to marry that Benny girl? We shall see! Try it and see! Alright then, get out. Now what am I going to do to this boy? What? What will I do to him? I'd rather deal with that girl. I will deal with that imbecile. I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in years to come. I will make her understand the hammer turn brings cold. See, since last night, I had a back and forth with my mom. See, babe, don't worry. Even if she doesn't call you, you'll get another job in another hospital, okay? Yeah, I know. But the controversy is trailing our relationship is not healthy at all. Your ex on one hand and your mother on the other hand. Forget about my ex. I mean, she's inconsequential. Mikael, I really don't want anyone to get hurt. I assure you, no one will get hurt, okay? See, I will continue talking to my mother until she, until she understands how we feel for each other. But you're not talking to her. You're just having heated arguments with her. You just said so yourself. I, I know. Okay, okay. I will change strategy, okay? Smile for me now. Mm -hmm. I have to go now. I need to get to the mall and get some groceries. The mall? Um, why don't I just drop you? Aren't you busy? Busy? I can't be too busy for you. Um, I am a nighty boss. So I do whatever I want to. Oh. But for now, I have to go drop my beautiful queen at... All right, good, let's go. Since you said you have feelings for me, then why don't you want to date me? Look, Judith, you just keep flogging this matter. I've told you it's not going to work. Mikel is not going to like this. 
I am going to hide it from him. We shall hide it from him. He's not going to find out. <laughs> He's not going to find out. You don't know Mikel. He's very smart. He will find out. It's not going to work. Baby, look, I'm very good at hiding things. Trust me. Even under his nose, he's never ever going to find out. Judy, this thing will not work. Just let's stop acting like kids because it's not a... I've been here for a couple of minutes now. I asked Judith and she said you had just stepped out, that you took a stroll or something. Oh, Judith? No, that's not what I told her. I told her I was going to see someone. And I've been out of here for the past two hours, I think over two hours. Oh, I, I mean, I've just been here for just a couple of minutes, like I said. Ah. Uh, so what's up, man? I didn't hear you driving. Where's your car? Oh, that, I, I parked outside. I need to just get something and head straight back to the office. Oh. I was with the tunnels earlier and... Uh, oh, okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, just that same issue from yesterday, like I told you, I mean, it's yeah. driving me crazy. Sure. But don't worry, it's fine. Yeah. No, Allah, please, let me get something, then we'll go to the office. All right? All right. Oof. Stop there, boyfriend snatcher. Anita, what's the meaning of this nonsense? So you've been the one with my man. Stay away from Anita. Oh, man. Anita, what's wrong? What? Are you mad? <laughs> so you stay away from us. Had died or something. Come on, she hit you first. You're not expecting to just stand here and not do anything. Just hold her. You're way too stronger than she is. There's so many other ways you could have stopped her other than hitting her. You do not hit a woman. And if you ask me, I mean, it helps her right. That way she has to think twice before hitting someone else. Completely wrong. Well, Did you see how she fell down against the impact of your hand? Maybe you don't expect me to just stand here and watch someone beat my woman or hit my woman. Come on. It's that you're wrong for goodness sake. You do not hit a woman. You shouldn't be hitting a woman. You are making me scared of you. Okay, but she hit you first, so I... Please stop this car. Why? Stop this car, please, right now. It's okay. I will find my way home. Have a nice day. It's not Where is he? Where is your brother? Good evening, Mom. What did I hear you did to Anita because of Etinusa? What did it? Oh, come and stop it! Are you trying to play smart with me or what? Did I not warn you not to see that witch again? Witch? <laughs> Mom, now Etinusa is a witch. Simply because your son is in love with her. I am disappointed. You should be disappointed at yourself and not me. 
Shame on you. Now you listen to me. You will not have anything to do with Etenessa again as long as I live. Really? Of course. Hear me well. If you do not want to marry Anita, no issues. But make sure you get me another wife from an Ambrose state. You must marry a girl from an Ambrose state. I think this is the time I have to leave this house for my peace of mind. Clearly, the education is not doing the best on you. Take care of your mother when I leave. Oh, really? You now want to leave this house because I asked you to stay away from that witch. If you like, no problem. But all I'm telling you is, no Anambra woman, no peace of mind for you. Rubbish. So you cannot question your brother. Take a look at your brother. Now he wants to leave this house because I asked him not to see that Benin witch. That doesn't even want it. Rubbish. What is it? Actually, I'm, I'm actually calling to, to apologize. I mean, I shouldn't have hit you. No matter the provocation, I shouldn't have laid a hand on you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, I'll forgive you. But you have to come back to me. Anita, I can't come back to you. I'm with someone else now. Come on, baby. I'm smitten with you. Mikael, I love you more now, and I know you love me too. Um, um okay, we, we'll talk about this when next we see. Okay, so are we seeing tomorrow? I, I will call you. Okay. Good night. Promise me that you will not hit a woman again. Okay, I promise. I promise. That's my perfect gentleman. <laughs> I'm kind of considering getting a nursing job in the UK. Wait, you, you want to leave me? Not leave you, say. Uh, well, if you must go, we'll have to get married first before you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is yes. this your way of proposing to me or what? No, no. I don't get it. I just... Officer, that's the girl, arrest her. What's going on? You better keep quiet. Officer, arrest this girl. Let's leave this place. Arrest me? Of course. Oh. Young lady. I have an order to arrest you. Let's go. Why? What, what, what has she done? When you get to the station, you find out. What's that? Okay, 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 okay. Officer, she's not going anywhere. Let's go. Officer. Let, let, let's go. Officer. Let's go. Officer. When you get to the station, you find out. Officer, don't lay a finger on her. Let's go. Let's Please. go. Let's go. Shh. Let's go. Okay. What's, what's the Hey! Did I not warn you to stay the hell away from this girl? She's not good enough for you. Oh, Mr. Why are you arresting her? Of course! Mom, bet you you pay for this. How dare you speak to me in such manner? Mom, rubbish. Don't ever slap me again. I will hit you over and over and over again. Ah. 
Hey, hey, bro, what's up? Not you now. So this so about uh -uh. the phone. What's up? Bro, it's my mother. She, my mother just arrested Etinosa. Arrest Etinosa? Why? How? I don't know. We were actually having a mother and then we were actually eating at the eatery. And she just came with some policemen and arrested her. But why? Why did she arrest her? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. You're welcome. Thank you, DPO. DPO, I have this diamond necklace that I used to keep in my office. Okay. Now, this young lady here is the only one who knows where I normally keep that diamond necklace, and she has access to it because she used to work for me. Okay. All right. Three weeks ago, I sacked her. But get into my office today, I discovered that that diamond necklace is no longer there. Now, who could have stolen it apart from her, who has access to it? What? What do you mean, what? Now, DPO, all I want you to do is to ask this girl to return my diamond necklace. I did steal your diamond necklace, ma. I have never entered your office in your absence. You are indeed a bloody liar. Hey! I'm sorry, DPO. Now you listen to me, young lady. The diamond necklace that you stole is what? Millions of Naira. You cannot, in fact, even your grandfather cannot even afford it. All I'm saying is for you to return it. And that's it. With due respect, ma'am. I didn't steal your diamond necklace. Stop accusing me wrongly, please. Take it, you don't reserve what in my office. Tell me every truth you know about this matter so that we can settle this matter here and now. Because I and my boys are going to carry a thorough investigation on this matter. And if you're found guilty, if you're found guilty, I'm going to invoke the full weight of the law. I still don't get why she would consider you the prime suspect when, when there are other people working at the hospital. She said I had unfettered access to her office, which is not true. I do not enter her office when she's not in. I know why she's doing this. But she failed this time. I'll handle it my way. Please don't go home and fight your mother. No, I am not. Just let me prove my innocence. Come on, I can't leave everything to you. She's my mother. I will handle it. Please. Uh, babe, you can't drive in this mood. Just calm down first, okay? Or let Victor drive. Uh, yeah, she's correct, okay? Okay, you're not in a good state to drive. Let me drive, it's okay. Okay? Just calm down. Okay, mom. Since Mikael is not coming back tonight. Was that what he told you? No. I'm just wondering why he's not yet back home. That's his business, Joe. Mom? Mom! Oh, there you are. Mom, why would you accuse an innocent lady? Simply because you don't want me to be with her. Now, who the hell are you calling innocent? And by the way, why were you screaming my name like that? Mom, 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 what's that? Oh, don't worry. Till I'm done with her, then we'll be able to tell who is innocent or not. Then be prepared, because I'm going to make her sue you for defamation of character. Oh, just shut her! What the hell are you talking about? Somebody stole my diamond necklace from the office, and you stand before me to talk bullshit. Mom, she did not steal it. Really? It was how can would never do that. Really? You see the way I'm looking at you? Mom, she's not the only nurse in your office. I mean, there are other nurses. Why are they not suspects? Oh, really? I should accuse innocent people leaving their teeth. Mom? It's not done that way. Mom, come on. She left the office about three weeks ago. Then why are you bringing it up now? That's because I discovered it today. 
that she stole my diamond necklace I kept in the office. No, Mom, you know she would never do that. I just shut up. Now, what is this? I'm sure you've been bewitched by that Edo girl. Open your eyes. Really? Mom, if that's what you think, then be my guest. Have a good night. Can you imagine? No respect anymore. Talking to me anyhow he feels like. Just because of an ordinary taste, you should indeed be ashamed of yourself. Rubbish. Make sure you lock the door, please. Okay, Mom. Are you really going to sue our mother? Of course I will. Come on, Mikkel. You wouldn't do that. For what she have done, I will gladly send her to jail if I have my way. Mikkel, this is a family matter. You don't have to bring the court into it. Watch me. Really? Who is there? It's me, Mom. Oh, come in, Judy. Hello? Hi. <sighs> what is it now? Mom? Mm -hmm. Which diamond necklace did Etonessa steal from your office? The one I bought for your father before he died. Any problem? But I overheard you telling someone on the phone that you sold it to one Alhaji Mimuna Alkali. When last did you clean your ears? Because you didn't hear well there. Mom, I overheard you. I wasn't going to talk to you. Oh, just shut up! What has come over you? I'm telling you the young lady stole my diamond necklace. And you are here talking rubbish. Mom, you know that's a lie. How dare you? Uh, Is he obvious? How dare you call me a liar? Is something wrong with you? <laughs> now will you get out of this place? Get out! <laughs> Hello, DPO. Good morning. This is Dr. Ungazi on the line. Yeah, good morning, madam. How are you? <laughs> How is work? Ah, uh, thank you, DPO, for asking. Well, I am calling to, you know, let you know that I would like you to drop the case I brought to your table yesterday. Really? Uh, you want to close it? That means, uh, have you found the missing diamond necklace? No, I have not seen the diamond necklace, but the thing is this. I have decided that we, you know, we settle it among ourselves. Remember, the girl in question is my son's friend, so they have begged me not to escalate the case. So please, DPO, let's close the case. All right, that's good of you. You have no problem, madam, you have no problem. Thank you very much for your understanding and cooperation. Have a nice day, DPO. When my father was still alive, my mom have always said that I must get married to an Anambra State woman. See, I never thought she was serious. I don't know. Bro, why is your mom so fixated on Anambra women? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Hold on. God. Bro, I think the, the agents are sent in the pictures for the apartment. Really? Yes. Show me. I mean, you should check it out. Fine. I'll pay you and move in today because I'm tired of... Oh. You know what? I think I need to use the restroom, okay? Just uh, give me a sec. This looks good. I like ah. what I'm seeing. Oh. I like what I'm seeing, actually. Oh. Uh. Why? Why is Judith calling Victor? Is there a problem in the house?
Hey, sweethearts, the love of my life, my honey bunny. I saw the poem and they're so beautiful. I love them so much. Thank you, baby. Why are you so quiet? Are you okay? Judy, this is not Victor. This is Mikhail. Hello? Hmm. How many grams is this? Oh, 500. Hmm. Can I at least... Thief! It's you! You're a thief! And you'll soon get caught. And probably go to jail. Hey. What's up, bro? You still looking at the pictures? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Uh, you know, I think you should take it. It looks really, really nice. Really. Yeah, 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 I will. Uh. Victor. Yeah? Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? That you're dating Judith. What's your problem, lady? <laughs> my problem is you. You are my problem. You stole a diamond necklace for one million from Nera, didn't you? You watch your tongue. You might get slammed for defamation. Oh, please tell that to the beds. You stole and you were caught. What then are you talking about? Hmm? All I have to say to you is stay away from drugs. It's obviously not good for you. You're a big fool. You're the one who do drugs. Look at this idiot, shameless thing. Thief! That is whom you are. Big thing. Please. Nonsense. Thank you. Judith. Judith. Welcome. Yeah, I'm leaving this house. I've paid for an apartment somewhere else. You're leaving now? Yes. I mean, since mom doesn't want to give me peace in this house, then I'm leaving. Wow. Judith. You're dating Victor. Yes. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's okay. I mean, he's a good guy. He's cool, calm, and collected. So, what about the guy I heard you talking to on the phone? The one you were asking out? Did he turn you down? Saint Victor. Huh? So, you, both of you have, never mind, come on, help me with my things to the car. Okay. You mean she called you a thief at the mall? It was kind of embarrassing, but I just managed to hold my peace, despite how upsetting that was. This nonsense has got to stop. I know what to do. What are you going to do? Listen, I do not want you to go fighting anyone. Don't worry, I'll, I'll handle it. Babe. Uh, anyway. <sighs> um, welcome to my new place. Hmm. I hope you like it. Yeah, it's beautiful, but mm -hmm. I don't get How did you manage to fix it all up this way? I mean, you just got this lease, yeah? <laughs> it's a sublet. Oh, I get it now. So... Mm, it's beautiful. Would you want to spend the night? Ah, uh, no. Next time. Why? I Please. want to go home. Want to go home? Yeah. All right, I guess I will have to drop you off. Thank you.
And where are you coming from? I went on a date. Oh, date. Nice. Who is your boyfriend? Victor. Mikhail's best friend. Victor. <laughs> is Victor from Anambra State? Kat, got your tongue? Hey. Um, he's from... Emo states. Then you must be the biggest fool on earth. Now what happened to all the Anambra men littered in the city? I'm asking you. Answer me! <laughs> you better forget whatever thing you think you're doing with Victor. Because it's a waste of time. It has to be an Anambra man and does it. Are you okay? Yes. No, babe. You're crying. Why are you crying? Nothing. I just... I just had to be so stunned to be crying, was it? Babe? Where are you going, the young lady? I'm leaving this apartment for good. To where? My brother's apartment. Have you gone crazy, Judith? Come back here. Look at this girl. Judith!
It's like they have bewitched all of you. Where is that girl? I can't afford to be at war with both of my children at the same time. No. I must do something about this new development. I'll do it fast. Anita. <laughs> where are you going to? Ah, uh, to see a friend. <laughs> a friend like this? Because you look so good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, Victor, huh? I'm wondering why you haven't talked to your friend to reconsider his decision. Uh, uh, what decision exactly? About us. Ah, oh, Anita. Look, I don't know. Look, there's absolutely nothing I'll say to uh, make her right now that I'll make him change his mind. His mind is made up. He wants to marry the other lady, so... After everything we shared together, why are men this wicked? Anita, it's not about who's being wicked or who's not. Uh -uh. You should understand that it didn't work out for the both of you and it's okay. So I should just, just, just move on. Victor, I really want Nikki back. I strongly want him back. See, my own advice to you, it's already late. That horse has, has bolted a long time. Besides, they're planning your wedding. Just so you know. So there's no way, really. They are planning their wedding? <laughs> they, yes, they are. So just move on. There's no need talking to me. It makes no sense. Why are you looking so worried, Anita? I'm here to find out if you're aware that Mikael and that Benny girl are planning their wedding. <laughs> you know, that's not possible. It's true. They are planning their wedding. How did you know that? I heard it from his friend, Victor. And I suspect they might have set aside this weekend to go pay her dowry. Pay whose dowry? Who? While I'm here, still alive? It's not possible. My son cannot go to pay someone's diary. Someone that is not from Anambra while I'm alive. That would be over my dead body. It's not possible. You don't want to pick my call. You must pick it. You must pick it, Mikael. Hello, Mikael. Now you listen to me. I've heard all your plans. No problem. But there is one thing I would like you to know first before you go ahead to marry that Chobini girl. You will seize to be my son, and I mean every word.
Nikhil, are you okay? What is the problem? Talk to me. Mom just called. What does she want? She says I cease to be her son if I go ahead and marry Tinusa. What does she mean by that? Like hell, I don't know! Is she trying to say that she's disowning you? For what? I don't care. But what I know is that I will go ahead and marry Tinusa with or without her blessings. Oh, uh, I've seen the picture. Mm -hmm. So t tell me, what is the assignment? Interferes with her. Woe well, her. Mm. Make good love to her. Send me the text. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> That's a piece of cake for me. I see. Now send me your account. I'm going to transfer half a million to you for logistics. Listen, there's something I want you to know about women. Tell me. They're like men that spends cash on them. Believe me, hers won't be a section. There is a reason they call me lover boy. And I know this game. Trust me, you will like it. <laughs> so, Mr. Lover Boy, how much is your view? <laughs> Come, let's go to the club. After you. All right. <laughs> Oh, you mean so? No, no, come on, babe. No. Don't tell me you are admiring her. Hey, babe, come on now. Just. I don't trust you guys. Things can be so terrible. Babe, so you mean you don't trust me? Is that what you're saying? Not that. But you know that you guys can be so, so unpredictable. Relax, relax. Okay? I know, but I love you. Okay, and that's enough. Mm? I know you love me, so just look at me. Let your focus be on me, me, me. And me. Mm, I'm focused on you, and my eyes are on you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just wondering why she's just seated there all by herself, not eating or drinking. Why is your business? She should possibly be waiting for somebody, maybe her boyfriend. Uh, still, it won't be out of place for her to be eating or drinking. <laughs> Maybe her boyfriend told her to sit, wait, don't order for anything. Just wait for me to like call. <laughs> no, that's very, very possible. I wonder what kind of boyfriend that would be. It's just really odd. So, you cannot do anything like that, right? Babe, really? Come on. <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing up with your hand. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> So you moved out of the house because your witch of a girlfriend advised you to? Mom, that's false. Me moving out of the house was totally my decision. Oh, just shut up. You will never interrupt me next time. I want you to come to the office today by 6 p.m. There is someone I would like you to meet. Who is that? Her name is Chine Nuchendo. Daughter of Barista Uchindo, my friend. You would like her. Very intelligent girl and smart. She's a medical doctor. Mom, why do I have to see her? I want you to see her first. Get to know her. I'm certain that you would like her. Let's start from there. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not interested. I've already made my decision. My decision is final. I'm not going back. Are you 
you are right. This is what you must do, and you will do it. Mother, don't you have anything better to do with your time? I mean, I'm sure there are patients in the hospital that wants to see you. Please go and see them. So all I'm saying since is bullshit. You called it that. I did it. I have things to do, Mom. I have to go. Thank you. Are you walking out on me again? Mom, no. I'm leaving. Mika! So, babe. Yeah, tell babe. Me, when are you going to propose to me? I mean, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Babe, it's just a little time, okay? It's gonna happen really soon at its right time. Alright? <laughs> mm. Babe, take your call. I don't want to. Who's calling? It's my mom. Come on now, babe. Really? your mom we're talking about. I don't want to take her call, at least for now. I know why she's calling already. Even at that, you should take your call. Babe, no. I don't want to take this call. <sighs> hey, babe. Okay, okay. No, 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 uh, hold up, hold up, hold up now. No, don't hey, do babe. that. I don't want Listen, to. We're talking about your mother here. I know. Okay, I'm I sure there's something call. important she wants to say to you. No, hey, she doesn't. I'm being cool. Judith, I would like you to come home. There is something very important, an urgent I would like to discuss with you. No, we can't. I want you to come home immediately. But, Mom. No, but. Just do as I said. Mom. Hello? Hello? She hung up. What did she say? And I should come to the house. She wants to discuss something very important. All right, then let's just drink up so you can go. So you no, can go. I don't want to go to the house for now. Babe, you just said she wants to discuss something really important with you. I think you should go see her. Come on now, drink up, babe. Hmm? Empty right now. <laughs> Why did you say so? I can't imagine losing Mikael to another woman. Mikael is my dream man. And now my dream, every, everything is it's shot that I don't even know how to take it. Okay, old friend, see. I can take anything thrown at me, like anything. But the one thing I would not take is watch another babe take my man away from me. Ah, they never born that babe well. Though. I don't even know what to do to that stupid girl, honestly. <laughs> Aisha, I have confronted this girl a couple of times, but it's not working. And why are you wasting your precious time confronting her? What would I have done? <laughs> Waste her. <laughs> Waste her? Yes. <laughs> How do you mean? See, just make her disappear from the surface of this earth forever. I mean... Take her six feet. Are you, are you asking me to kill her? <laughs> if kill makes you feel at home, then yes, that is what I mean. You know, 
Um, the truth is, I've actually thought about that, but... But what? Like, I've actually thought about taking her out of the way, but I just do not know how to go about it. Every time I see those two, I just feel like they have to open up and swallow that girl. See, babe. You don't have to worry. I'll take you to somebody that's going to make the work look very clean. I mean, it's going to look as if she committed suicide. Are you for real? Oh my god! Cheers! <laughs> Good afternoon, Mom. Sit. How are you? I'm fine. You know, I want the best for you, Judith. Which is why I don't hesitate to give you everything good within my power. Your father left the hospital for me before he died. So technically, the hospital belongs to me and this house. I will not hesitate to give you everything. That is if you act like a daughter. Mom, am I not acting like a daughter? No, you're not. I want you to come back home. Okay, I will. And I want you to stop seeing that young man called Victor or whatever thing you call him. But mom... Hey, your birthday is in three months time, right? Yes, mom. Good. I'm going to buy you a brand new car to celebrate your birthday. It didn't end there. I will hand the hospital over to you including this house. That is, if you will, marry an Anambra man. Judith, Anambra men are the best as far as I'm concerned. They are. That's why I would like you to marry from Anambra. And you will. Good evening, Nico. Judith, where are you? Do you know what the time is? Sorry, I'm not coming back home tonight. Why? Where are you? I'm at home. Wh which home? Our home. Okay. Uh, are you okay? Mom she requested to see me, so I came around to see her. Judith, are you there? Can you hear me? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, okay. 
We'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Bye. Oh my god. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. You seem not to remember my face again. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm really lacking my head to see if I can place it, but I can't. I was at your hospital since like two months ago when I was sick. Okay. Which hospital? Livingstone Hospital. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, I want to really commend you for how you took care of me then I even told the doctor that you are indeed a great asset to the hospital <laughs> thank you so much but I no longer work there oh 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 why nothing okay your bill is 13,200 oh okay I I have to pay please let me pay, let me pay. what yes my little way of showing my appreciation for how you took care of me then and this is the least I can do. <laughs> Thank you, but I wasn't supposed to treat you otherwise. My father will always tell me that it's always good to reward good behavior and you are good at your job. Please, please keep it up. Thank you so much for the kind words and thank you for paying for this. You're welcome. I, you know, I I still can't remember ever seeing your face. Uh, well, I guess it's because I see lots of different people every day. I think so too. <laughs> I know you see a whole lot of people. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Good morning, Mika. Good morning, how are you? Good. What did mom say? Lots of things. I, I will be leaving the house today back to our house. Why? Nothing much. Um, mom still wants me back home. Really? Yeah. Judith, how old are you? So when do you intend on leaving? Immediately. I'm, I'm moving immediately. Will our hearts become one? Baby, I need you like my coffee every morning. So, don't say, you know, sir, which way are you going? Uh, Brown Road. Brown Road. That's the place I'm going to, so let me drop you off. Thank you. You've already done enough for me. I insist. Let me drop you off. Okay. If you insist. I insist. <laughs> Thank you. After you. Come on. Which one? This feels like a honeymoon I give it all away. All the time I need you If you want me Only if you let me in I fuck my me You know it's true
Ja, komm ey. Hey, bro. It's poppin'. What's good, no? Good, man. Now you're saying. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, walking from home, as you can see. Oh, okay. So, where's Judith? Judith? She went, she went back to the family house. The family house? Yes. When? Wait, you mean she didn't tell you? No, oh, she, she didn't mention. Probably an oversight. Maybe she forgot or something. Mm -hmm. So, bro, can I let you in on something? Tell me your face, they're serious. <laughs> yeah, sure, no. I'm your go-to guy now, any day. Go-to guy. The best. <laughs> so... I'm planning to propose to Judy tonight. You're serious? Absolutely. I mean, I already bought this really beautiful ring. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, 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 it's at home. But since she's not here, I was thinking we could just plan a little get together here. Uh, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Guy, congratulations! <laughs> Bad guy! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> Thank you. I am very grateful. You're welcome. So tell me, is this where you live? No, my fiance lives here. I came to see him. Oh. <laughs> you you're already engaged. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the guy is nice because a pretty Beautiful damsel like you deserves nothing but the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy. Please, my regards to him, please. He'll get it. And uh, would you mind if I have your number? <laughs> no problem. Mm, you type, please. Okay, here you go. Thank you very much. I will call you later tonight. And uh, there's another thing. My mom used to say that you don't get a woman's number without asking for her account details. Mm, really? <laughs> that's, that's for her. Is that not so for you? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think I'll I will call you later tonight. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, Aaron, how are you? Yeah, it's going very well. I trailed her to the shopping mall and I approached her. So, um, I hope the information I gave to you was useful to you. Yes, yes, it was very, very useful. I am already done with the first stage. So, were you able to hire the car? Yes, I hired the car and I told the car dealer that I will be using the car for a week. But I am certain that this assignment will be done in less than one week. <laughs> Believe me, Aaron, I love your confidence. Just keep it up and keep me posted. Thank you very much. I will, I will keep you posted, please. Oh! We are celebrating love. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Who's love? Ours? Uh, no, it's mine actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Yes, actually, Victor wants to propose to Judith. Mm -hmm. To Judith? Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Oh. Isn't that nice? Congratulations! Well, thank I'm so you, happy thank for you, you so guys. much. I appreciate. It. Um, uh, um, actually, we're still keeping it on the low, so just keep your mouth sealed because we want to take her by surprise. All right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so where is she? She. She went to the family house. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So, where is the proposal going to happen? Uh, I was thinking here before, and then uh, I thought since she's not here, I thought to use a choice restaurant or a bar, mm -hmm. and then come back here to celebrate. Oh, really. mm -hmm. beautiful. Thank you. Unlike your friend here that did his in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, another not a bad place to do it anyways. <laughs> oh. mm. yes. There you go. That's a good shot. <sighs> okay. Have you called her? What's wrong with her? Bro... I don't know. I guess she should be on her way now. Mm. But I'll call her in a jiffy just to be sure. Alright. And please don't forget, okay? The videos, okay? Capture everything. Come on, I Pictures. got you. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, bro. Oh! It's her. Oh, perfect, man. Hey, babe. Where are you? I'm not out yet. At home? Is everything okay? Victor. I want to tell you something. What, babe? Are you, are you in any kind of trouble? I... I... I am not, I'm no longer interested in this relationship. Why? What happened? You heard me, Victor. I am no longer interested in this relationship. I am out. I wish you all the best. Bye. Hey, babe. Please hold on, okay? It the line please hi it's me Aaron the guy that met you at the shopping mall this afternoon oh okay good evening good evening how are you thank you so much once again for everything may God bless you God bless you too so tell me how are you doing I'm fine and you I'm very well so um, are you working tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, so, day or night? No, night. I was wondering if we could have lunch together tomorrow. Lunch tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Just lunch. <laughs> sure, just lunch. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'll give you a call by noon tomorrow. You take care of yourself and have a good night. Bye. Bye. Her number is switched off. Oh my god. <sighs> Wait. Is this, is this like a prank? Judith will never prank me with such a thing. Damn. Hey, are you sure it's her voice you heard? Judith is no stranger to me. Of course it's her voice I heard. 
just, just, just calm down, okay? First time tomorrow morning, I will go to the house and find out what's wrong. So I'm just hoping my mother doesn't have anything to do with us. Your mother? Look, Miguel, I don't know, man. I don't know why she chose to do this. My world is crumbling right before my eyes. I've come to, to love Judith with my all. If she's actually serious with this, then, then I may never recover from this heartbreak. Bro. I may never recover from this. Be strong, okay? You're a man. Look at me. Look at me. You're a man. Be strong. I promise you, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to the house and find out what's going on. Okay? Calm down. You're welcome, man. Thank you. What's okay so long? Man, the traffic was Hi. so crazy. Hello. So, this is my friend, Anita. We have a job for you. Okay. Can I hear it? There's this lady we want you to take down for us. But we want you to make it look as if she killed herself. Mm. That's suicide? Yes. Okay. So, how much would it cost? Can I know this lady in particular? Baby. No. <sighs> Welcome. Why are you looking like this? Are you okay? I'm fine, Mom. No, you don't look fine to me. Now tell me, what's the matter? Hey. You're even crying. Now what is it? I broke up with Victor. Is that the reason? You're looking this horrible. Oh no! No, 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 no! That's a good news! Come, come, come. All oh, right, all right. It's all right. You don't have to cry. For who? Oh. <laughs> you have just set yourself free from the disaster. It's all right. This is the time for you to set everything right. You have to go get yourself a perfect gentleman from Annenberg State. <laughs> ah, come on. Mm, he's not what this tears is all right. <laughs> Hi, baby, you're welcome. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't look right. Where is Victor and Judith? Victor has gone home. Are they still coming back here tonight? No, he's not coming. But the engagement party is supposed to be here. The engagement never happened. Why? Judith never showed up. In fact, she called off the relationship. Why? I don't know. But I strongly believe that my mother is behind it. Is the number thing again? I guess so. How is Victor taking it? My boy is down. I mean, he's very down, and trust me, I can feel his pain. It will feel like an, an eternity. How did it happen? She texted him or what? No, no, no. They spoke over the phone. I mean, she just dropped the message and turned off her phone.
Judith! 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 Michael, good morning. You silly greeted yourself. Why did you end it with Victor? Nothing. Nothing? I asked you a question and you tell me nothing? Answer me! I said nothing. Nothing? So you just woke up one morning and ended the relationship? I'm sure mom put you up to this, right? I'm sure she promised you heaven on earth. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Look at you. You think you're still a small girl? Huh? I never thought you could be so erratic and thoughtless. Mikhail, please do not insult me. I am not erratic and I am not thoughtless. Don't listen to yourself. Do you know what your decision have done to my friend? You ended a relationship, a, 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 a boring relationship, before what? For illusion, because of illusions? Do you even know what he's going through? Of course, you have no idea how I feel. You don't even know what I'm going through. All you just care about is to bring down the building, and that's all. You don't know how I feel. What are you going through? Excuse me. You, Julie, you don't walk out on your brother. so good. What did she say? She, she says you should move on. See, Victor, the truth is, you can't force someone to be in a relationship they don't want to be in. Neither, neither would you be in a relationship with someone out of pity. See, she says she's done with the relationship and that you should move on. Why? I, I need to know. At least she needs to tell me why. She, she didn't, she didn't say. But I, but I strongly believe my the mother is behind us. She, she, she's blocked me on all social media platforms. Even blocked my two lines, I can't reach her. Judith. Judith, I know we'll never do something like that. You know what, let me go. Let me um, 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 wait, wait, wait. Um, see. Victor, you're not in a good state of mind right now. You go in there, you just, you're just gonna mess things up. I, I know you. Things will get messy. I'm good. Bro, 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 bro. I mean, 
He needs to calm down. I hope you enjoy your meal, alright? Yeah. Lovely. Mm. So tell me, why did you choose to be a nurse? <laughs> Well, it's a profession I love with passion. Mm. Yeah. My mother was a nurse. My elder sister mm. is a nurse. I basically grew up not wanting to be any other thing but a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it's more like a family thing. So, who would be your patient? <laughs> more like. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? So then, what do you do for a living? Okay. Um, you seem quite rich though. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, how do you know I'm rich? It's quite obvious. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say your cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yesterday it was a different car. Today, a different car again. <laughs> Average guys don't change cars that way. Observer. <laughs> you are supposed to be observing for hiding. <laughs> so what if I tell you that I have fleet of cars. Cars in my garage. Wow. <laughs> you are loaded indeed. Mm -hmm. So tell me, do you work in an oil company or are you a politician? So for me to be or for me to drive good cars, I have to be a politician or to work in an oil company. So, okay, I want to show you I'm neither of which. I'm not a politician, mm. nor do I work in an oil company. Mm. I'm just a football agent. Mm. A big football agent. I deal with the clubs in the Middle East and uh, Asia. And, girl, those guys pay crazy money to sign players. They pay mind-blowing cash to sign just players. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> that must be a very lucrative job. I hope, I hope you don't want to tell me you want to be... Uh, no, <laughs> You'll be a no, 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 no. I'm a nurse, please. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is, if you know what you're doing, if you know your onion, mm. then it's lucrative for you. Wow. <laughs> I see. So, are you based in Nigeria? Mm, 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 mm. I'm based in the US, but I come to Nigeria totally to scout for players in the local league and um, academy and so on. Mm. Mm hmm. You're so interested to, to know about my game, so... <laughs> no, it's a normal thing, come on. <laughs> be your nurse, let me be my agent. <laughs> I love my job, I love my job so come much. On. Cheers to this. Mm -hmm. You're coming. Hi, my love. <laughs> um, oh, 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 oh. Hey, talk, what are you doing here and how did you know this place? My love, oh, Okay, I'm here to see you. We need to talk. Don't call me that again. I'm not your love. And there's absolutely nothing to talk about. Mikhail, I just want an audience. Just hear me out first. Anita, how did you find this place? Well, your mom told me. You know she has always wanted us to be together. My mom doesn't know where I live. Well, your sister does, so do the math. Anita, what do you want? Mikhail, I just want us to talk. The only conversation we want to have now is business. But if it goes personal, I'll walk away. You have one minute. Mikhail, I'm really sorry for everything. Mikhail, please, I want you back in my life. Okay, that's it. Out. You asking me out? Anita, get out of my house. Mikael, I'm sorry. Anita, get out! Ah!
thank you so much. So this is where you live? Yeah, that's my apartment. Which one? This one, upstairs. This one, the, upstairs. Like the yes. first floor? Yes, yes. Well, I like the environment. Ah, thank you. Would you mind if I come in for a drink? Ah, please. Can it be some other time? I really want to go upstairs, take a nap, mm -hmm. and then wake up and prepare for work. <laughs> And uh, have you celebrated your birthday this year? Mm -mm, not yet. It's in two months' time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good timing. I will make you a car owner on that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you joking? You can't be joking with such a thing. I'm not joking about it. But why? I mean... Why are you being so nice to me? You know, you are a very good person and you deserve every good thing that comes your way. But remember I told you that I'm engaged and about to get married in case you are... Uh, 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 I, I am almost calling you my love. But remember, I told you I have if you are based in the US and I love her so much and you are a good person and nothing more. Oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just take care of yourself. I will call you. I will see you tomorrow. Okay? All right. Take care. Bye. Gently. Bye. Gently. <laughs> How did she manage to forget her card in my car? <laughs> I think this is a very good opportunity for me to enter her apartment. Yeah. Very good one. Very, very. No stories this time. No, some other time. Come here. Kill me. Shut up, Alistair. Shut up, Now take that paper and pay. Take it and write. <laughs> write before I empty my gun on you. Please don't shoot me, please. I beg you, in the name of God, in the name of everything, please. Shut up. Come on, write.
right that you decided to commit suicide. What? Are you you find out that you were pregnant for your sugar daddy. Please, I, I can't do this. I, I said right before I empty my gun on you. Take that substance immediately. I said, take it. Open it and drink it. Open it and drink it before I empty my gun on you. Oh my God. Is he, is he dead? Still alive. Is he dead? Is so who is he? Is he your boyfriend? Oh, I don't know him. He said he said he's an assassin. I do not know him. I know. Then what are you waiting for? Call the police immediately. Call the emergency number now. Thank you so much. Thank you. I... It's okay. I'm, I'm happy you're safe now. Oh, God. So it... It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so if not because of the ATM card, I... I would have been a dead person by now. You know, there is something to say that everything happens for a reason. But I've been so, so, so confused and worried, curious. How did this guy get into your apartment knowing that you locked when you were going out? I don't know, honestly. I don't know, it beats my imagination too. I... Just stay strong. I'm happy that the young man has been arrested. I think he will be the best person to explain to the police. Just put yourself together. Thank you so much. It's I'm fine. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Mm, it's fine. Just put yourself together. Come on. I think I've gotten the content I've been waiting for. So, Aaron, have you gotten the content? Oh, hello, Doc. There is a strange development. Which is? An assassin broke into Enitusa's house trying to eliminate her. And how did you know that? Thank God I was there on time to save her life. And we got the, the guy arrested and handed over to the police. Aaron, can you hear yourself? I sent you on a mission to get something very important for me, which is a sex tape and deliver it to me. So why go there acting like James Bond or Jack Bauer? Can you quit acting like a strong man and do what I asked you to do for me? That I know and I'm not distracted about it, but I want to be sure we are not on the cross part here. And what is that supposed to mean? Did you send the asset? Just a thought, but... Why would I do a thing like that? Now you listen to me. I need you to get me her sex tape. So get back to work. 
I understand, and that I will do. What nonsense. Thank goodness you're alive. Come, 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 come. Oh, baby, I have never been this scared all my life. I know, I know. I know you'll be fine, okay? You see, if that house, you're not going back to your house anymore. You're moving right into this house today. Your house has been compromised. All right? Okay. What about the guy? The assassin or the guy that saved me? The guy that saved you. He has gone home. I owe him a huge gratitude. We owe him our gratitude. Aisha, I'm really worried. How about what? The hitman. Usman? Yes. He's supposed to do the job yesterday. Why hasn't he called us? Babe, relax. He said he was going to inform us when he's done. So? So? Since he hasn't called us, that means he's not done yet. He was supposed to do that yesterday. So, see, babe, Usman is a professional, a trained hitman. So when he's done, he'll probably inform us. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> you seem like you can't even wait to hear that that idiot has been taking care of you. Of course, I would even celebrate it for a week or more than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Babe, wait. What is it about this guy that you can't get over? Is it that he spends so much on you or is he good in bed? <laughs> you see you? You're damn crazy. No! Oh, dude, I am not crazy. Judith. No, 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 don't no, no, run now. Judith, it's me now. What eh? is it? What are you doing here? You just get out. What are you doing? What, what is it exactly? Calm down, I came to see you. Huh? I have told you to forget about me and move on. But I can't. Of course you can. Don't you get it? No. You're beginning to pester my life and it's so annoying. Me? Judith, it's me or Victor. What did I ever do wrong to you to deserve I this kind of... I have told you, you did nothing to me. Just leave me alone. I am not ready for a relationship. At least not for now. Judy, you're shouting now. But you're making me to shout. You're making me to, to yell. Because you're not listening. Don't you get it? So you say you're not ready for a relationship? That's what you said? Yes. But the other day, you were the one who asked me when I was going to propose to you now. And I swear, I had there, there, there he goes again. There he goes again. Look, Victor, I beg you in the name of God, stop coming here to look for me. Please. I, I know you. Excuse me. Judith, please wait. I need to know the catch. What is this? Tell me. Does he spend so much on you or he takes you to cloud nine on bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the boat, but more of the later. Both of you must be Anita and Aisha. Yes. 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 You're under arrest. Under, under arrest? arrest? <laughs> what did we do? Usman mentioned your name. Both of you. He is in our custody. Now move, you're under arrest. Move!
What's that? What are you doing? I'm here. Okay. <sighs> what? Why are you face like this? Come on, sit down. Sit, 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 sit. <sighs> What's wrong? The IPO called a couple of minutes ago. Okay, what did he say? That your ex, Anita, sent the assassin. What? what? Anita? She has been arrested along her accomplice. The assassin mentioned their names. The police picked them up and they have owned up to it. Did, did the IPO by any chance mention my mother? Mm, no. Why? Mom! Hello, my angel. Mm. My angel? I'm fine, but I'm not happy. Now, what's the matter? Now, what's Mom? the matter? Mom! Hey, what is it, young man? Have you gone bonkers? Mom, are you with Anita on this? Now, what nonsense are you talking about? Mom, Anita hired assassins to eliminate Tinosa. What do you know about this? Are you out of your mind? Mom, Hold on. Are you by any means calling your mother a murderer? Mom, please just answer the damn question. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Did you just say, Anita, hired assassin to kill who with Tanusa? Mom, you heard me right. Now, how did you know that? Mom, she's with the police singing like a bird. Anita. Mom, please, please, don't lie to me. Tell me the truth, because you guys have been discussing lately. Did you guys discuss this? Oh, just shut it! Hold on! Is calling your mom a gossip. Talk about you, my son, as what? Now will you get out? Out of my sight! Hello, it's Nosa. Good morning. How are you? I saw your SMS last night that the assassin finally named the person that sent him. Yes, my fiance's ex and her friend. You can't imagine. I'm happy that they will have to face the full weight of the law now. Of course. Of course. Uh, thank you so much once again. God really used you to save my life that day. I can't thank you enough. You should be thanking God and not me. But all the same, thank you. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can see you today. Something came up. What is it? I will be leaving to the United States for something. Uh, my attention is so gently needed. So I'm wondering if I can see you before I leave because I have a very special gift for you. Oh, okay. Okay, just t tell me when you're done with work. Just give me a call. I will tell you where I am. Okay. All right. Bye. You too. Take care of yourself and have a nice day too. Bye. Unbelievable. For how long has this been going on? Uncle, for over one month now. One month? And you didn't bother to come to me until it has degenerated to this level. Uncle, I never knew it would get to this point. My sister, she can be very, very stubborn. Whenever she made up her mind on it, anything, and it is almost impossible to make her change her mind. Whenever she forms opinion on anything, she holds it so strong, so obstinate, and even when it is unreasonable, 
whether that opinion is unreasonable or obstinately, she holds it the same way. Hmm. Cool, I don't care. I don't care. My point is, if at any point I find out that she has a hand in the attempted murder of my fiancé, or she knew something and never said anything to stop it, I would never forgive her. I would do, do what the world would be surprised. My son, calm down. I can understand how you feel. Calm down, my son. Please, take it easy. Okay? I will not allow you to do anything you will regret all through your life. I've heard you, and I definitely will act accordingly. Okay? Just take it easy. Hmm? Okay? Good. Hey. Thank you. I've always loved her. Oh God, I miss her so much. Hey. Now what is this? Because they're my sister. Jeez. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Please sit. All right. Thank you, my lovely sister. How are you? Well, you can see I'm good. You're doing well for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, what is this? You did not even call to tell me that you're coming. Hey, I hope you're not sick. Well, if I'm sick, you are the doctor, you treat me and collect the money. No, God forbid. Just keep your money and please don't be sick. That's good. Um, so, to what do I owe this visit? Well, I will go straight to the point because I know you are a very busy person. I would have called you on the phone, though, but the matter I have at hand is not something we discuss over the phone. Okay. Do you have a hand in the assassination attempt on your son's fiancée? Where is that question coming from, Chief? Oh, is that what Mikael told you? Yes, he came to me. That young man where he is now, he's a wreck. And I ask you again, do you have any hand in that? I'm just going to answer this question because you're my elder brother. Otherwise, I would have asked the person out from my office. Now, Chief, in as much as I do not want my son to marry this girl, honestly speaking, I do not wish her dead. Believe me. It's okay. I'm very happy that you're not part of that. But if I may ask, why don't you want to allow me to go marry a woman of his choice. If I may ask, as my elder brother, would you rather prefer them to marry any girl from any state just like that? This is my choice. I have said to myself that my children will not marry from any other state apart from an Amber state. Haburunyo town, please. But the ex that is in the police custody is from an embarrassment. Yes, I know. A potential mother, I hope you know that. Have you ever pondered? What if Miguel had married her and she ended up killing him? You see, anybody who can send 
an assassin to anyone is a dangerous person. You get that? I do. I understand that Aneta is a bad choice. I accept it, it's all my fault. But then again, it didn't work out between my son and Anita. Fine. I mean, we have plenty, a number of beautiful, intelligent, smart girls everywhere in the state. Come on now, he should choose one. Those are not his choice. He has already made a choice. Which is? A bini girl? <laughs> ah, come on now. You see, um, let me just take you down the memory lane. Do you remember that my friend, Chief Mwade, who died last year? Mm hmm Do you know what killed him? Heart attack. Heart attack caused by depression. He was depressed because his children abandoned him. He practically forced his will on his children. So when they grew up, they isolated him. Chief Mwadi died a very sorrowful man. You see, you do not push your children away from you. You have to allow them marry a woman of their choice. Not you forcing a partner on them. That is not good. You allow them marry a woman of their choice. If you do that, you will eventually lose them. Your part in them is to guide them. Experience has shown that those who tried, it usually did not end up well with them. Now, let me tell you a story about myself. A story I have never told anyone. Oh. I think from this position, I will be able to capture every moment. So this camera is fine, okay? I think, uh, uh, yes, I think it's good. So this bad is very, very, very solid for the game. And if she tries to prove difficult, I think I will have to release her drink and knock her off. I think I need another like, a second camera so, so I can get another angle. Oh, think, think, think. Okay, I will put it here so I can get a very good angle from here. And uh, trust me, she will enjoy the hotel because it's a very strong bed. Whoa, let me get the second camera. So, when are you coming back to Nigeria? I think that we'll be back in the next four months. Mm. And I told you I have a very special gift for it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is it? It's upstairs in my room. You're lodging here? Mm hmm. Oh. I should be heading for the airport tomorrow morning. My luggage in, in my room upstairs. Okay. Anything else? So, what is it that you have for me? <laughs> <laughs> but I told you it's a surprise. Why are you so curious? When we're done here, we go upstairs, you get your gift, then I drop you off. So, relax and enjoy your food. Hey, bro! How <laughs> far now? I did. You don't see him now. Oh, yeah. What's popping? How are you doing now? Ah, not bad, thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bad guy. Mm. Hope you have stopped stabbing yourself. Up. Bro, listen, I, I don't want to talk about it right now, honestly. Oh. Mm. How is it, Tino, sir? Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Oh, she, she great. She went to work. She oh. said after work, she's going to see her friend. Oh. Great. So what's up with Anita? What's going to happen to her now? 
Anita. What else? Apart from being persecuted in the court of law. No, oh, great. Because I was thinking they were going to prevail on you, you know, settling out of court. Out of court, okay. <laughs> Anybody that does the crime should be able to, to do, do the, the time. Yeah, yeah. So, um, That's the point, my brother. <laughs> to face it, um, should I get you something to drink? Because there's no food in this house. Oh, of course, what was I expecting? Well, give me gin. We can drink. One minute. <laughs> Now what's the matter? Now what's the matter with you? Leave me alone, mom. Leave me alone. What is it? My heart has to belong to Victor. Which Victor? I shouldn't have broken up with him. I shouldn't have listened to you. I beg your pardon? I just hate the fact that you made me do this. Mom, you destroyed my happiness and my joy. For your own selfish desire. Did you realize that you're talking to your mother? I don't care. I don't care, Mom. A mother who is selfish and doesn't give a hoot about my own feeling and happiness. It's not what we call the mother. Beg your father. <laughs> Surprise gift you have for me. Come on, babe. <laughs> no. ah! Come on, babe. What's that for? We're here to have fun, nothing but fun. Girl, I'm attracted to you, and sincerely, I'm here to, to have a very good sexual fun with you together. Aaron, no. That can't happen. I am in a serious relationship. You are aware of that. I can't cheat on my man. He is not married to you. You can do whatever you want to do. No. I have ten thousand dollars for all you, and you can just have it and spend on yourself. And you here telling me about your relationship? I don't need your money. Come here. Get, get off me! What is that? Get off me! Leave my way. No matter how many times you slap me. You will not go nowhere if you like. Shout down this hotel. You don't go nowhere until I make love to you. Hello? Aaron. You have to hold on because I'm in the middle of something now. I want you to terminate this mission. What did you say? I said, cancel this contract. I need you to walk away. But be rest assured that I will, I will transfer your money complete tonight. But listen, this thing never happened. As far as I'm concerned, I bought it and walk away. Okay. Um, just hold on. I'm so sorry about the whole thing. It's not in my nature. I'm sorry. You, you, you can go. And remember, our path may not cross again. Your heart 
Let's become one Baby I need you like my coffee every morning Darling I told you, I'm the master of this game. What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? There is something I want you to do for me. What is it? Promise me you will do it. Well, not until I know what you're asking. Babe, let's go and see your mother. For what? Let's make peace with her. Oh, no, I'm not fighting her. She's the one fighting us. I know. But let's not turn our backs at her because she's against us. Babe, she's still your mother and will always be. I don't want to be the one that will disconnect the mother and son. No, you didn't disconnect us. She, she just, she's just against us. She's against me. In the face of provocation, let's let's be humble enough to ask for her forgiveness. Forgiveness for what? Forgiveness for what? Honey, don't bring logic to this. Anything that pleases her emotion, let's just do it. Let's tell her about our marriage plans and ask for her blessings and her advice. You clearly do not know who my mother is. We will kneel down and beg her. Even lie on the ground if need be. What do you want? I... I don't know how to say this. You don't know how to say what? I... Peter... I don't know how to say that I want you back in my life. You're joking, right? I am not. I'm dead serious. I know I hurt you badly, yes? All of this was my mother's fault. And I totally understand your now. I... Yes. Judy, did you say it was your mother's fault? How convenient. Listen, you have asked me to move on. And that is exactly what I am doing. So please leave. Victor, please. I'm so sorry. Judy, don't complicate things any further. Just leave. Peter. Please. I know I hurt you. But forgive me. Victor, please. <laughs> Victor. Judy. Come. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'm sorry. How do I face them? Will they ever forgive me? No, no, no. Please, do not ask us to leave. Come, both of you, come. Come, sweetheart, come. Please sit. It 
Sinusa, how are you? I'm sweet, that's it. I was just saying in my mind now that I will come see both of you. But thank goodness you're here now. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Miguel, first and first, believe me, I didn't plan anything with Anita. I'm telling you the gospel truth. In fact, I didn't know that that girl was capable of holding a fly. I didn't know. I didn't know she was that bad. I'm glad her mission didn't see the light of the day. It's in us, sir. I'm sorry, it's in us, sir. Listen, sweetheart. I support your choice of marrying it in us, sir. Like seriously? I'm telling you the truth. You have my blessings. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. You. Oh, we are so happy. I am so happy. I will support both of you 100%. Etinu, sir. I have a confession. Please. I was the one that sent Aaron after you. Aaron. I'm sorry, who is Aaron? The guy I told you I went to meet in a hotel. But, but the guy that lured you to his hotel to sleep with you? I was the one that paid him to sleep with Etinusa. To blackmail her. I wanted to spoil your relationship by all means. But last night, I couldn't hold it. My conscience was just weeping me. I couldn't hold it. I had to, I had to call her on to abort the mission immediately to terminate it. I went extremely too far. And I'm sorry. Please, my daughter, find a place in your heart to forgive me. It's, it's okay. She, she has forgiven you. We, we are yes. forgiving you. I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please. No, it's it's alright. Right. Yes, we are forgiving you. We, we are forgiving you. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Our hearts become one. Baby, I need you like my coffee every morning, darling. Say I'm coming for you. I won't fall for this again. I won't fall for this again. When I'm feeling blue. Oh, that's 
time, all the time, all the time.